Um, my focus is on equitable pedagogy and why I think that it helps students to reason and make sense mathematically. And so what I'd like for you to do is take a few minutes to think about what equity means to you. When you think about equity, how would you define it? So take a few minutes and think about it inside your heads. And when you use your definition, how do you interact with students based upon it? Are you thinking? <laughs> Equity does not mean that every student should receive identical instruction. It means that we should provide students with what they need in order for them to succeed. Equity means being unable to predict students' mathematics achievement and participation based solely upon demographic characteristics. We should be able to help students move forward based on their knowledge and understanding. Equity is extended from a unidirectional exchange as primarily benefiting growth of students and students groups that have historically been denied equal access, opportunity, and outcomes in mathematics to a reciprocal approach. We should learn from them as well as teach them. The concept of equity includes the equitable distribution of materials and human resources, intellectually challenging curricula, educational experiences that build on students' cultural languages, and pedagogies that help students to succeed. A social justice stance requires a systemic approach that includes fair and equitable approaches to teaching, and it kind of sums up all of the other definitions that I've already presented to you. Equally important, a social justice stance interrogates and challenges the role power, privilege, and oppression plays in the current unjust system of mathematics education and in society as a whole. We need to change the idea of mathematics being a gatekeeper to a gate opener. Equitable pedagogy focuses on the identification and use of effective instructional techniques and methods as well as the context in which they are used. And in the following slides, I'll talk about some of the things that teachers can do in an equitable classroom. Teacher may use mathematical autobiographies to find out information about their students to help them teach them better. They may use prompts such as, tell me, what your experiences have been in mathematics so far. They may use multiple entry level tasks that allow different students to enter into the task at different levels. Teachers may utilize the mathematics teaching practices by the National Council of the Teachers of Mathematics. Post some that I like are pose purposeful questions, support productive struggle and learning, and elicit and use evidence of students' thinking, which falls in alignment with formative assessment. With formative, formative assessment, we're analyzing what students are doing minute by minute every day of the week and helping them to move forward. Also, teachers may use activities that are centered around social justice issues, like studying statistics related to racial profiling and determining whether injustices have occurred, and then suggesting what steps should be taken next. Also, students may use tasks, teachers may use tasks that are centric to students by asking students what kind of problems do they want to study, such as comparing prices at a grocery store to prices at a convenience store. Also, it's important that students understand that mathematics does not come from math gods, but from people just like them, that we could all contribute to the development of mathematics. Teachers may foster relational equity among students in which students learn to appreciate the contributions of their peers from many different cultural groups and with many different characteristics and perspectives using cooperative learning in ways that really help students to appreciate each other's thinking. And then also it is important that teachers engage families in doing mathematics, inviting parents into their classroom and helping them to see what their children are learning and invoking them as partners in their children's education. Using these strategies and others could lead to positive mathematics identities. 
This is a student that really loved geometry because he was really engaged in it. He was able to make conjectures and test them out. And then perhaps we will have students who can have many options like John Urschel. He's a football player, pro football player, and is also working on a PhD in mathematics in his spare time. 